What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how to mod Elden Ring safely so that you can play the game without having to worry about the anti-cheat and things like that. This is especially important as a ton of players will be brought back to Elden Ring for the brand new Shadow of Erd Tree DLC. So let's get into it. If you want to mod Elden Ring, there's a ton of ways to do so, but the most stable and correct ways of doing it is by using a mod loader. So in the description down below, you'll find a link to the Elden Ring mod loader. With this, you can just add to your game directory and it'll help you load and manage your mods. You'll see that it'll load any DLLs found in the mods folder and that's it. It's super simple. If you're going to be playing the game, they recommend disabling the anti-cheat temporarily by using the anti-cheat toggler, which is over here. You'll find a link to both of these in the description down below, and by doing so, it allows you to play safely offline, modifying the game as you wish with different game mods and plugins without having to worry about the anti-cheat. This, however, does put you in offline mode, so you won't have any of the online experience, which is fine, especially if you're trying to mod the game in crazy ways. With the first link, the Elden Ring mod loader just click manual download here and you'll need an account to download off of the nexus mods website but you can of course probably find these downloads on different websites too this is just the site that i'm using open up the zip when it's done downloading and in order to install it you just need to extract it to the elden ring game folder so here's the zip file all we need to do is in steam locate elden ring right click manage and choose browse local files then inside of here open the game folder and we'll be extracting the zip file into here that's it. Now we've successfully installed the mod loader. Now you should also have a brand new mods folder where we can drop mods in here. In order to get the anti-cheat temporarily turned off, you can look at the anti-cheat toggler here, click the manual download and slow download this as well. Open up the zip once more and inside of here, you'll find a bunch of different files. What you need to do with these is drag them into your game folder as such. There we go. That's pretty much it. Now we have two different EXEs that we can use to interact with the game. We have start and offline mode and toggle anti-cheat. If we don't really care about online interactions and things like that, just run start game in offline mode and you'll be set. Mods will load and of course the online interactions won't work at all, as stated here. There's also a toggle program, which if you choose to run it, will turn off online experiences and allow mods to run. If you run it again, it'll turn on the online experiences and disable all of your mods. It'll also make sure that all of the mod files are renamed so that whenever you fire up the game normally, you don't need to worry about anything interacting with the game in ways that it shouldn't. So if we run toggle anti-cheat here, you'll see it says disabled and your online experiences will be turned off. If we run it again instead, you'll see that mods have been disabled and you can play online once more. That's it. Inside of the mods folder is where you'll be installing most of your mods. So if you're like me and you want to skip the intro movies, for example, so you don't get flashbanged, this does unfortunately need you to turn off online play, which is super annoying. We can manually download this, slow download, open up the zip and extract this into your mods folder here or combine them using just the root directory here. So I'll drag the skip intro into our mods folder and we can customize it if you wish in notepad to turn off specific different things. We'll make sure that our toggle has been run once more. So now mods are actually enabled. We can head across to Steam, fire up the game and now there's no annoying flashbang. When we open up the game, the intro movie has been skipped. It's just a black screen for a while while the game loads and shortly after, now we're on the main menu. That's it. Super quick, super simple. Anyways, using something like this allows you to mod the game safely, play online with your friends, etc. and have your offline normal solo experiences where you can have a modded game all from the same install directory. If you'd like to launch this in the future just for solo play, you can create a shortcut to the start in offline mode, right click, followed by send to and then desktop in order to create a shortcut and you can just fire this new shortcut up whenever you want to play the game with mods enabled and that's it. Anyways, hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. Mine has been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao. And a special thank you to Superior Emerald for being an ultimate supporter.